Here's a Samsung Galaxy A13 smartphone. I'm going to show you two, the easiest way to take a screenshot as well as how to take a scrolling screenshot. Okay. So the first way to take a screenshot is a two key combination. It's going to be the volume down and power button. What you want to do is press both buttons at the same time. Okay. So again, it would be volume down power. Ready? Go, let go. Boom. And then from here, I mean, you can go ahead and edit here. You can go ahead and share it here as well. Okay. So remember volume down power. Boom. Do it again, boom, do it again, boom. Every time you take a screenshot, it automatically gets saved into your photos gallery. So I can swipe up, go to my gallery here. And if I tap on albums down here, now you should have a new folder here called screenshots. I have one here that's camera. That's my uh, where my uh, uh, photos and videos go into. And then my screenshots folder is here, all the screenshots that I've taken, okay? Now the second way to take a screenshot is using the assistive menu. And this way we won't have to use any of the keys, okay? Maybe your keys are broken or whatnot. But anyway, just go to settings. So we're going to go to settings here. And then from here, we're going to go to accessibility. So scroll all the way up until you see accessibility right here. Let's tap on that. And then from here, we're going to tap on interaction and dexterity. Let's tap on that right there. And then assist of menu. Just tap on that right there. And as soon as I toggle this on, this little floaty thing here appears, okay? And this floaty thing always stays in the foreground. All right, okay. And then what you can do is you can tap that right there, and you can see. Let's see. Oh, the first one here is just screenshots. Okay, but you can tap right there to go take a screenshot, and you can do other things on here too. Recents. You can go to home here. You can even bring up the power off menu, and whatnot. Okay. So that's the two ways to take a screenshot. Now to take a st scrolling screenshot. Like, let's say, for example, you're on, like, um, a browser, Google Chrome here, and let's say you want to take a screenshot of, like, part of this web page here, and, and maybe you only want to take half of it or the full thing instead of taking, like, multiple screenshots. So what you can do is this. We'll go ahead and take a screenshot here. So I can take a screenshot using two buttons, or I can tap on this little floaty thing down here and take a screenshot right here, or I can just use the two buttons here, volume down, power, so I'll tap both those buttons right there. Now this will pop up, see this little down arrow, if I tap on that, now this is how much of the screenshot we have so far. You wanna go down more, let's let's go down to like halfway down the page. Okay, maybe that's about halfway right there. Okay, and then we can share, we can, we can edit it and whatnot, crop it or whatnot from here as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it just like that and it automatically gets saved into your gallery uh, photos gallery app as well so i'll tap on that and then let me just go back here just tap on albums tap on screenshot and that last web page we just took a screenshot of is right here one screenshot right pretty simple